31% of taxi drivers don't take a break whilst at work. You'd think that would make them cranky and opinionated. <laughs> and a teaspoon contains 120 drops of water. That's according to research by Professor, probably, from the University of... Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Let's get started. What are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. We've teamed up with a leading polling organisation and they've asked the British nation what stories they've been discussing this week. It's our panellist's job to guess the British public's top five most popular talking points. Jason's team... <laughs> you're to guess first. Um, what do you think people might have been talking about this is week? It's um, the untimely death of uh, Molly Sugden. <laughs> <laughs> Who saw that coming? <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Is it, Shh, um... Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> he had his choice. He had his chance. <laughs> yes, David Watt. <laughs> Have you heard Michael Jackson is dead? <laughs> yes. yes. What about the coverage? Like, the night he died on Thursday? Was it Thursday when yeah, it happened? Yeah, Thursday, yeah. I mean, I just I sat there all night just flipping channels between BBC, Sky News, just trying to see how many different ways you can say Michael Jackson is dead. <laughs> there was this lady on BBC News, and, um... She said, Michael Jackson, King of Pop, dead at 50. We go back live to Los Angeles for an update. He dead! <laughs> He's dead. Are you sad about it? Uh, for me, it's a little bit like when Diana dies. I couldn't give a fuck. <gasps> it, the audience, how do you feel? Are you good at... Do you feel sad? No, it's a weird one. That, a few of you, yes. Now, now, I read in the paper, the big story, the real tragedy around Michael Jackson's death was the fact you were looking for a house and you lost out on the deposit. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's an element of truth in that, yeah. So did you find him a house? Uh, well, um, he was actually found three houses. And, and, and this is perhaps why I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. Oh, yeah. Um, is he living in one? Because... <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> he was due to sign the aid. He was due to choose one of the houses this week. Mm. So what was he looking for? Was it a flat? Um, Fairground, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Has it got an ensuite? Has it got a waltzer? <laughs> well, what was he looking for? He needed a... what was essentially a stately home, but it needed to have all the mod cons of a gym and a cinema and a panic room and that sort of thing. But I think what's quite interesting is they were going to have a state funeral. People could go and see his, his coffin. What they're going to do instead, instead of a state funeral, they're just going to dangle him out of a window for 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's have a look and see whether Michael Jackson is one of the most talked about things this week. I imagine he's right up there. <laughs> yes, indeed. I think the highest percentage we've ever had. Yes, Michael Jackson has passed away. You could tell Michael Jackson wasn't well. He hasn't looked himself since about 1984. <laughs>